Today in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create sleek and modern looking landing pages entirely using AI. And as you probably already know, we have a wide variety of different AI coding tools out there. And all thanks to all these tools, we can now go ahead and create landing pages of any sort entirely using AI and the best part without any coding knowledge. And now let's say you have a SaaS or you want to create a website for your local business or maybe you want to create a personal portfolio website whatever be that you can create sunny looking landing pages using AI and that is exactly what I'm going to show you in this video and if that sounds interesting let's quickly get started all right so in order to create a landing page the first thing that we need is obviously a AI powered coding tool or let's say a AI coding tool and here I have opened up one of the popular vibe coding tool that is lovable.dev and in this video we'll be using the same but in your case if you are already paying for a different AI coding tool like let's say data button or tempo AI cursor windsurf or let's say bolt v0 you can continue following the same from that platform it will work so in this video specifically I'll be using lovable and now yet another thing is that to make the whole process a lot easier and also give the AI a lot of these context or let's say reference images we will also use a couple of other services and the first one is called as 21st.dev and this is like a UI library that you could use to develop UI for your app it could be a landing page it could be a dashboard now you get a lot of these pre-built components or let's say some hero sections now bar cards feature cards and all that and you can copy a couple lines of code and give the AI the code and AI will automatically go ahead and implement the same for you and now for design inspiration you can go ahead and use dribble.com and now if you need any icons or let's say something like that you can use flaticon.com and now the first thing that I'll do is I'll head over to Lovable and we will start with a very simple prompt and as we progress we'll give all the requirements that we have and we will build out the final landing page that we need and for now this is the prompt that I'll give build a landing page for my SaaS Paymax which is our online payment gateway company I want to build a sleek and modern looking landing page with a navbar hero section trusted by brands logo section a section with cards explaining the features a CTA and a footer so this is like a very minimal and basic you know uh, prompt that I'm giving now and one thing that I've learned is that as far as design side of things are concerned no matter how elaborative you are or let's say how big of a prompt that you give AI kind of always you know AI can't one shot the entire UI for you so it is always best to sort of include all the main components or let's say sections that you want in your website or let's say landing page and feed that into AI first and then go ahead and individually modify each section and now that is what worked the best for me so I'll continue the same way and now I can go ahead and click on the send button and let's wait for the AI to code the initial version of the same and we will take it up from there and now it says I'll create a sleek and modern looking landing page for Paymax your online payment gateway company and now it is working on the same and if I click on this one right here I can find all the code that the AI is writing but in which ways we'll wait for it to complete the same all right so there you go so this writer is the initial version of the landing page that the AI has created while it looks reasonably good this is not something that we need we want a modern and sleek looking one and all these gradients are already dated right we want to make it even better and this is the time where we want to use all these resources like 21st.dev dribble icons from flat icon and all that so that we can give additional instructions as to how to stylize each of the individual sections like the navbar the hero section the trusted by industry leader section right here the card section and all that and now we want to go ahead and edit each and every sections individually and now before I go ahead and continue customizing this landing page right here let me quickly take a second to talk about our sponsors for today's video Omniscient so if you are into e-commerce marketing then you might know how important email marketing is in fact for every single dollar you spend on email marketing with Omniscient you get to make around $68 in return and that's a staggering 6700% ROI. Omniscient is our all-in-one e-commerce oriented email marketing platform that allows you to drive more revenue with less effort. Whether you're just getting started or you have a growing online store, Omniscient has got everything you need. With Omniscient, you get pre-built automations like cart abandonment or let's say welcome series, beautiful email and SMS campaign, and even push notifications from one simple dashboard. It also offers powerful segmentation so you can send highly personalized messages based on what customers actually do on your store. And the best part, it seamlessly integrates with platforms like Shopify, WooCommerce, Wix, WordPress, and even BigCommerce. To quickly get started, you can click the first link in the description below and go ahead and sign up for a new account. And once logged in, you can quickly go ahead and create a new campaign by giving details like the subject line, name, language, etc. And you can even let AI write everything for you. Yes, Omniscient comes with AI integration too. Next step, you can select a template that you would like to use and customize it using Omniscient's intuitive editor. And once done, you can make the campaign live in a single click. 
And here's my favorite feature, automation workflow. So if you move to the automation tab, you'll be able to create workflows for abandoned cards or let's say checkout, order confirmation, order follow-up, product reviews, or even custom ones. Everything is all taken care of by Omniscient. And not just these, you can even configure Omniscient for setting SMS and push notification as well. So it is truly a all-in-one platform. And now make sure to click the first link in the description below to learn more about and check out Omniscient. And now back to the video. And now the first thing that I want to do is to replace this hero section entirely. And for that, I'll head over to 21st.dev and maybe I can go ahead and search for hero. Okay, heroes. And here you can find a couple of these, let's say pre-built, you know, hero components that you can add to your project in just a couple of clicks. For example, we have this one right here with some fancy animations. Mm, then this one right here. Okay, that looks good. Okay, maybe this one right here. A reactive hero section that also looks good. I mean, you can scroll through this page and find a lot of these stunning looking UIs. And if you want to, you can actually include that into your page directly. So for this project, let's say I want to include, um, let's say, okay, this one right here. Okay. And don't worry, even if you, let's say, add this as your, you know, hero section, you can further go ahead and make changes on top of it. And I actually like this one. So we'll start with this one, okay? So I'll go ahead and click on this open component button right here. And next up, I can go ahead and click on this copy prompt button and I'll copy the prompt and I'll head back to Lovable and I'll go ahead and say, I want you to replace the entire uh, hero section with the one attached below. And now I'll go ahead and paste the code that we copied from 21st.dev. And now all I gotta do is to click on send and let's wait. And now if you're clueless and if you're looking for some source of inspiration to get started with, the best thing that you can do is to head over to dribble.com or maybe Behance and you can simply go ahead and search for your whatever product that you have. Let's say you have a payment company, you can go ahead and search for let's say payment landing page or something like that. Or maybe for this one, I'll simply go ahead and search for landing page and let's see what comes up. So all of these are templates or let's say landing page UI designs that you can take as inspiration. And let's say you like one of them. For example, this one right here. Look at that. Maybe you can just go ahead and click on that one to view all this information like a detailed, you know, you can take a detailed look at the landing page. And if needed, you can just go ahead and save this image and then give the AI it as a reference and have it, you know, sort of include it as well. Okay. And now as we asked the AI to include that as the hero section, as you can see, the AI went ahead and used all these lines of code and added the same as the hero section. And obviously the image is broken. And now we need to find an image to put in here, right? Now I have already prepared an image. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and drag and drop this image in here. And by the way, this right here is the image that I want to include in my hero section. So this is a random uh, image that I found from obviously Dribble. And I'll go ahead and say, the current image in the hero section is broken. So I want you to replace it with the one that I attached in this chat. Now, what I was saying is you can simply go ahead and search for your product and landing page or your industry landing page, and you can find a lot of these inspirations and you can download the image and give that to the AI and have it code something similar. And that will be like a best approach you can do. All right, so there you go. Right now we have this image nicely added in here as well. And now all of this looks good. We have a nice subtle animation in here. We have this image and also nice CTA button, this card and also everything else is taken care of, right? But this navbar right here does not really suit our use case. So I want to find a sleek looking, let's say navbar and include it in here. What I'll do is I'll head back to 21st.dev and I'll head over to the homepage. And this time around, I'll go ahead and click on navigation menus. And let's go through a couple of them. Okay, here we have some mega menu, I guess. Hmm, this is actually really great, right? That's one. This is yet another one. This also looks good. Maybe this one. Okay, the basic chat CN navigation menu. I feel like I like this one the most because it has that mega menu in here, right? Couple of these images, nice animation and all that. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and open the component again. And next up, I can copy the prompt, copy prompt. And next step, I'll go ahead and say, replace the current navigation bar in the landing page with the one below. And obviously I'll go ahead and put the code in here and I'll click on send. All right, so this is how it looks for now. And as you could probably already tell, everything is broken. The alignment is not correct. And right now I also don't really like this number. Maybe I can go ahead and replace it. 
maybe what i'll do is i like yet another one so i'll prefer to use this one instead so i'll go ahead and copy the prompt head back can you replace the nav bar with the one below and also take care of let's say the alignment okay and now i'll paste the same in here and hit enter all right so this looks far way better next step i want to make this sign in and get started button to use the same styling as the nav bar so i can go ahead and say give the exact same styling of the nav bar to the sign in and get started button towards the right as well and highlight the get started button and also remove the gradient from the paymax logo on the top left all right so there you go i also went ahead and asked the ai to fix some alignment issues and this is how it looks for now and maybe if you want to you can also go ahead and ask the ai to include a couple more links in here and next step let's just say i want to add a dark mode and a light mode toggle and also make it functional so i can go ahead and say i want to add dark mode support to the landing page and also make sure to include a toggle that i could use to turn off dark mode and also enable light mode and i'll hit enter all right so look at that this looks far way better right now right we have this dark mode toggle and i can click on that one to enable dark mode and we will also want to make the rest of the page have dark mode as well but we will take care of that later and for now this hero section looks absolutely stunning and next up i want to make some changes to this trusted by industry leader section right here and i want to show actual logos of brands in here so what i did is i went to flaticon.com and i downloaded a couple of these logos so you can simply go ahead and search for logo and download a few of them or just in case if you want to use some real logo or let's say real logos of the brand that you're already working with you can simply go ahead and download their logo in png file and after that i'll head back to lovable and next up i'll drag and drop all of these logos into lovable just like this so i have uploaded all of these logos and i'll go ahead and say could you please make the trusted by industry leader section to include the actual logo of the brands and i have attached a couple of these logos in this chat so you can use them and also make sure to add marquee animation effect to the logo so that it is running across the screen and i can hit enter okay and now i'll go ahead and hit enter okay so that's it now the ai will go ahead and replace all of this with this brand logos and maybe i can also head back to 21st.dev and see if we have any section like that okay clients seems like we actually have some in here okay okay all of this actually looks good if you want to you can actually go ahead and use these elements but ah this is exactly what i wanted right okay we need this marquee running effect for the logos trusted by these companies okay that looks good this is also good oh this is sick bro i definitely want it i guess okay maybe we can ask the ai to implement it somewhere within our website later okay first let's wait for it to complete the same and i somehow want to include it somewhere okay we'll find that all right so there you go that also looks good but the thing is the ai has actually you know made the logos monochrome which is kind of okay right i mean okay let it be like that for now okay so this is how it is and next step i want to change this uh, card section right here i want to replace all these boring looking cards and for that i'll head over to 21st.dev again and i have opened up the card section and here you can find a lot of these card templates including some bendo grids and all that uh okay so first step i'll let's say include this one okay this actually looks good right so what i'll do is i'll go ahead and click on open component and copy the prompt head back and now i'll go ahead and say i want you to replace the everything you need to succeed section with cards with the one below and make sure to make it dark mode by default and now i'll go ahead and paste that in here press enter and let's wait all right so this is how it looks for now and next up one thing that i want to do is i mean this actually looks really great i mean all these effects and all that but something that i want to do is i want to let's say have this gradient background of this hero section as the background for the entire website i guess that will be more better right so what i'll do is i'll go ahead and say for the entire landing page i want the same gradient background of the hero section excluding the footer and also cta 
let's see what happens all right so seems like the ai is having some trouble applying the same gradient background to all other section but that's okay for now we will leave it as it is and next up let's just say i want to change the cta section and for that i'll head over to 21st.dev again and hopefully we can find some cta in here so let's say call to actions mm, okay let's see hmm this actually looks good or yeah let me go with this one i guess okay so i'll use this one so what i'll do is i'll go ahead and open the component and i'll go ahead and copy the prompt obviously head back i want you to replace the current ct of the landing page with the one attached below and i'll paste the content and hit enter and let's wait and in the meantime maybe i can go ahead and find a footer section from 21st.dev as well so here we have a couple of these footers and now the reason why i'm using 21st.dev is that it makes the whole process a lot easier and faster so if you want to let, let's say build something from scratch entirely using ai obviously you can do that but it will take a lot more time and it is definitely going to be time consuming so just as to you know fast track the process i used uh, these components from 21st.dev but and again once you use this you can actually go ahead and make changes on top of it and that also works uh, maybe i'll go ahead and use this one okay so what i'll do is obviously opening the component and i'll copy the prompt copy prompt and i'll head back all right so now that's also done here we have the updated cta and finally i'll ask the ai to replace the footer as well replace the current footer of our landing page with the one attached below pasting the same and i'll hit enter and just like that this right here is our finished landing page so towards the top we have this navigation bar and also this nice translucent kind of effect the hero section this image nice gradient background we have all these logos of the company then we have this sleek looking let's say card elements in here and here we went ahead and included that 3d glob kind of you know floating icons in here and we also asked the ai to include some relevant icons and it has included the icons of uh, stripe and then what uh, paypal and all that that looks good too here we have the cta section and also the photo section it is as easy as that and now all thanks to 21st.dev dribble and flat icon you can find all these required elements and include all of that into your landing page in just a couple of click and now going forward let's say you want to make some additional changes to your landing page for example let's say you want to change the color of this text in here or change the color of this button or replace the image or maybe add some different effect for this animation in here i mean whatever be that that you want to do you can go ahead and ask the ai to do it and now this right here is just the initial starting point is what i would say right i mean you can go ahead and take it up from here make further modifications and the best approach that i would tell is that you go ahead and build a initial version and then you can just go ahead and use these pre-built components and include the same in your landing page and create the initial version and from there i mean you can take it up from there you can ask the ai to make further changes and that's how you do it okay so now that we have all these ai coding tools floating around creating a landing page is this simple and if you want to create a landing page all you gotta do is to follow exactly what i shown you in this video and now yeah that's pretty much all i wanted to show you in this video and again if you're looking for a email marketing service especially focused for e-commerce then make sure to check out omniscient using the link in the description below and now i'll see you in the next video